So this is reasonable testimony. Yesterday, all reasonable testimony. So if, and it's a little bit like 9-11. When you begin to look at this and listen very carefully and look very carefully, you look at this and say, hey, there's something wrong. There's something fundamentally wrong. And why won't the government, why won't our society respond to that? You won't get it. You won't well, get it. Theoretically, if there were one, if they were to address it in a similar way to this sort of mock hearing that we're having, what could it be? Do you think it should be reform, maybe, in records management? Could there be reform? Oh no, it's much more fundamental. Much more fundamental. Oh yeah. No. Didn't we conclude yesterday that we're, we're, we're ruled by a junta, a military junta, is, with Wall Street? I mean, just you got, you've got to face these facts that, uh, you know, we can say, oh, things are going to get better, but they're not getting better, they're getting worse. So do, In fact, the Congress is, no the Congress, huh? Are you saying that there's no, nothing that Congress can do to help this situation? Congress, it's not structured that way. Politicians don't act that way. You, you, you've got to understand that you're dealing with human beings. There's a lot of testimony about records management and that the records are not oh, being brought forward. They could, Don't they, you think that there could be some reform of in that? Of course they can, there could be. That, that and there may, and there may be some on a continuing basis. You see, with the, when you had a scandal with the VA, when well, the VA shaped up, and then there's now a little scandal over here, they're going to shape up. The, the bureaucracy is made up of human beings, and they become lackadaisical, they become incompetent, and then all of a sudden when it becomes visible, then they shake it up. But that's, but that is, those are issues. We're talking about why is the overall uh, area deficient in human governance, and not just the United States. Yeah. 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 It's something Congress can't fix, right? Well, uh, well, the Congress can't even fix itself. Aren't you? Can you, can you That's me, wishful thinking. Can you help me understand what the incentive is to cover these things up? Why why not let people be aware of, of the things that are... This is what's very important. Well, there are. This, what you're doing here is creating some degree of information for the general public. That helps. Well, what's the incentive That's of, the first step. What's the incentive of government to cover these things up? The, well, there's no incentive in government to cover it. But they're doing it, so they... Why? Well, no, they're not covering it. I mean, they're all... Cover, cover all, they're all cover huh? it up. Oh, why to cover it? Oh, yeah. well, that, that's because they they control uh, our society, whether it's Wall Street, the military, you name it, and they don't want to uh, have that power imputed upon them by knowledge. They don't want to equip the people. I mean, we've got a structure of governance where the people give their power away on election day. I don't know anybody who wants to change that. Mm -hmm. Certainly not those that have the power that's been given away by the people. And I've spent the last 25, 30 years of my life studying the issues of human governance. That's, that's what's fundamental here, is the recognition that representative government is broken and there's no, there's no effort to correct it. And it's been broken from the get-go. Just then, we heard the statement yesterday, we, we got to take back the government. Hell, we never had it. We lost it in the Constitution in Philadelphia. That's when, that, that's when it was structured. You just follow it from, from the Age of Enlightenment, when we figure out that the individual human beings are their own kings. You know? So what happens is uh, the people who control society under the monarchial, the priesthood, they, when we had the Age of Enlightenment, they figured out a process that they could continue to control society if they had representative government. And so that's why we, we don't have democracy. I mean, democracy means the people rule. Do the people rule? Hell no, they're at a football game. I'm not sure. uh, when you're, when oh, you're finished, it, we need two more minutes outside for that one-on-one -on -one video for Stephen. Okay, sure. Okay. Congress is banning immigration reform. Okay. How would the immigration reform, how would the knowledge of, of alien visitors change immigration? Well, because some people just are, are what would we do? gutless. Well, first off, they're, they're gutless on immigration. They've been dodging this issue forever. It's not a serious issue. I mean, this country's made up of immigrants. We should just, and, you know, setting up a 13-year deal and having him pay fines. That's all. But how would this conversation have an impact on that? On immigration? Mm -hmm. uh, if a member chooses to, to relate it. But I don't relate as it. As far as like an extra extraterrestrial coming to the United States. This, what's an immigrant? Be? Yes, that's what I'm saying. What? Well, that'd be great. But, but uh, what should the government's last response night, uh, Greer had really had made the statement very good. You know, we're not ready to receive extraterrestrials. We're not mature enough. The way we approach it is shoot them down. 
right. This is a little bit like uh, Columbus and uh, Cook uh, when they made their discoveries. They kill a few natives and shape them up so we can make slaves out of them. So we don't have a good record of handling uh, first discoverers. We don't have a good record. Yeah, no, no, thanks, Senator. I appreciate your time. Yeah, let me give you. Sure. Let me give you. Okay. Here, I want to find out my day job, and I'll bring some more tomorrow.